Well, mate, you just lost, but there's so many smiles around here. What a game. Yeah, um, like I said, it's, it's disappointing to lose, but um, the effort that the boys put in was uh, fantastic. And what, um, what makes us proud is that we're, we're very fortunate to go around and, and see the supporters, and a lot of them are saying how much, how proud they are of the effort that the boys put in. And that's what we say we want to go out, and you don't want to be walking in with a loss saying you haven't put any effort in. Um, all the boys were outstanding. I thought Jake Pledge's carrying was outstanding. Some brilliant line breaks out there, and like I said, we're just we're trying to enjoy ourselves, keep the momentum going, some some good rugby going into next week, and hopefully the team um, can perform well next week also. One thing, effort and heart is one thing. No, oh, it's two things. Beg your pardon. Effort and heart are two things, but the third thing, add into that such an amount of skill, it made it a tremendous game. Yeah, it was a. I said flip of a coin of Lewis Ludo getting held up, two kick chases for us to get out of our, maybe two missed tackles, um, fine margin, like you said, we're, we're a new bunch of players to put together for this week, new combinations, and to go out and perform like that was fantastic, and um, it's only, it shows the strength of the squad um, to push a sale team with a full strength um, all the way to two points to the 80th minute. We, we hear a lot about the idea of the mindset and the ethos in the club at the moment, but that is just a reflection isn't it, of, of how Gloucester are expected to take the field. If you've got a Gloucester shirt on, you go out there and play. So. Yeah, I, like I said, I've been fortunate enough to play against some, some quality players, and um, even when you, you see them like, back against the wall, that they're still fighting on the way down. And um, It's that pride that you, you wear the shirt, the badge. Um, I've always been told that you never know when the last time you're going to wear your shirt is, so you might as well wear it and give 110% each time. And um, That's what I try and do. A bit tougher this week playing at 12, we haven't played there for a while, but um, like I said, I'll enjoy every moment that I'm on the pitch. But having said that, uh, you, you, you've preempted my question really because you certainly seem to enjoy your chance to play at, at 12 today because uh, you, you were instrumental in making the movement and the continuity in that game flow. Yeah, a few people said that. I think a few deaf kicks, but I say I only kick it when I get tired. So that's why I think I kicked it so much because I was very tired. But um, it's, I think, like you said, when experience, you see pictures come at you and like with people who are playing so well, as in Danny, Billy, um, Aki, um, I'm learning off them playing at the wing. I know what's expected off the centres. Um, and fortunately enough, having the opportunity to, to run there this week, at, um, I enjoy being out on the pitch and, and hopefully put some uh, respect into the shirt. Still some, still some rugby to play for Glock and there are many people out there put their hand up to say hey you know keep looking at the feedback on this game did they yeah I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that number 23 shirt that's a good warm shirt for you next week but um, <laughs> it's, it's a, I'm not, whatever the t team need I, I'm there to, to hopefully need whatever they uh, to become the better team and hopefully get through to the final next week